Hello everyone. Today we have another simple 3D model. We will try to make this together. Let's start. We are choosing a part. Front plane, make it normal and start sketch. And then let's see what we have. As you can see we have one circle over here and we have hole inside of it. We can start drawing this one and then we can just give the dimensions and then you can just make one piece of over here. So let's start with the circle. As you can see we have 50 like diameter over here because R is 25 so it's 50 and inside of it in, inside of it we have one hole and we have diameter 25. So let's start with this. Choose a circle from here, one circle, and then the second one, and then outside 50. Oh, sorry, not the outside is 50, and inside of it we have 25. Okay, and then what we have over here. We have 56 from the center, right? So what we can do, we can go down and then to the right side one line and the and like length of this line will be 56. So choose the line, make sure that you are going vertical to the center point and when you see that, just go to the right side and click OK. And then it's 56, right? Okay, and then what we have? As you can see, we have the thickness over here, which is 16. So we will go to the upper side, 16 millimeters. Choose it and go to upper side and give the dimension, which is 16. Okay, we have this one right now. And then we will go to the left side. But before that, you have to make sure that you are going to the, like you are going left side as a vertical. So it won't be like, you know. Okay. We came to left side and right now this one is as you can see it's horizontal and this one is vertical so you have like pro proper line over here you have to you have to be sure about that because if you draw something like that as you can see it's not vertical or horizontal when you see this yellow symbol it means that you have horizontal or vertical. Okay. And then we came to left side. As you can see, it's not the part of it's not part of the circle over here. We have one vertical line over here. So what I did, I just came until here and when I see that it's it was like tangent over here, like I mean let's say tangent. I just finished my line and then we are going up. As you can see, we have our connection right now. Okay, and then let's start draw this this side. As you can see from the center on the top side from here, we will go to left side. And total was 120. So if you if you went to the right side from the center 56 this one from here to here will be 120 minus 56 I came to center point I'm going up and I see these yellow symbols I'm going to the left side and as you can see it's horizontal 
and our dimensions our dimension will be 120 minus 56 minus 56 okay we have this and then we are going down like 16 the same thickness like here and then what we will do we will just close this okay right now we have everything right what we can do first option we can continue to draw until that point and then we can do this later or we can make 3d sketch but it's for later so we can do like let's let's make one part one part for here and then the second one over here okay go to trim entities and start trimming we don't need that and we don't need that right okay we have one and then we are going to feature and then we will start and let's look okay our dimension will be 75 as you can see from that point to that point 75 Okay, and then yes. Now we need two holes over here, which is like diameter is twelve, and from center to the left side twenty two, and to the right side twenty two. So come to here, right click, make it normal. And then go to sketch and choose the circle. One for here, another for here. Okay. Right now, between these two circles, but before that, let's put the dimension. Like diameter is 12. 12 for this one, 12 for this one. Escape and left click and left click. Sorry, not this one. Okay, from you can choose the like center point and give relation. I made them vertical, so they are on one line. Like as if if you want to check, as you can see, we have vertical line and the centers are on this vertical line. Okay, like between two center like diamond like uh, difference is the like length of this line will be 44 so choose this circle and choose this circle and give 44 okay and then what we gonna do from that point to cent center is 16 so I can choose this line uh, circle and give 16 okay and then what we have let's check if we have this one over here this, this point and this point it will be 22 why why I gave 22 because it's from center and total we have 44 so it must be 22 right and then go to extruded cut and make it through all so we have our two holes and then we will go to right side what we have we, we, 
first we can make one rectangle over here and then make this third part over here so what we can do right now let's go to this part make it normal if you remember from the center we made it 56 so we have also our thickness over here so what we will do choose the line from the corner go to left side and give dimension 16 and then we will go to up and we will go 62 like this one is going to here as you can see from down to here 62 but we had thickness over here 16 so 62 minus 16 but let's draw first minus 16 we have our dimension over here right now and then what we will do we will just extrude to the other side 75 like other one and we want merge so they will they will just you know one piece as you can see and then Let's go to this side, make it normal and come to sketch. Let's check what we have right now. This one we have diameter 25. Okay, how we can make the circle over here? Choose the right side, make it normal. Choose circle and then put the dimension, like diameter is 25 as you can see and then we have this dimension 75 so it's on the center right now yes so what we will do choose the circle and go to left side 75 5 divide 2 so we have 37.5 okay and then as you can see it's on the center but we have this another part over here so what we can do choose the smart dimension tool go to here how was it? Let's check. 62. Okay. And then. Go to features. Extruded cut. Come to there. And. As you can see. Oh, okay. My mistake. I'm sorry about that. We forgot about one thing. This dimension is not go going to here. So they are just tangent to each, o each other. We will delete. We will come to here. Choose the corner. And choose also this and make it tangent. Okay. And then we can leave it for later right now. We have this one over here. Okay, let's continue with this one. Go to that side, make it normal. And then choose the line and come from that point to that point, to the corner. And then what we will do? We will go to left side from here randomly and from here and close the sketch and smart dimension we have one angle over here which is 45 right give this 45 and also give this 45 to do this side and then 
Okay, we gave them like the angle. And then what we will do, we have to extrude that. To the other side. And thickness was 16. Okay. And then come back to this sketch. We have this one over here, right? We want to cut this. Not through all. Make it blind so it will not cut all parts. Okay. As you can see, we have our part right now and everything is according to this drawing. We can give a color. Let's choose something like that. Kind of gray, but it doesn't look good when we give when, when we give gray color. Yeah, today something like that. Yeah. If you have any question or something, you can just write to me. I will try to help as as much as I can do. Thank you. And have a nice day. Bye bye.